Hi guys! In this video, magsosolve tayo ng mga problems gamit ang law of cosine. Okay? So, let's get started. Okay, let's have the first problem. Two airplanes leave an airport at the same time on different runways. One flies on a bearing of 66 degrees west of north at 325 miles per hour. The other airplane flies on a bearing of 26 degrees west of south at 300 miles per hour. How far apart will the airplanes be after 2 hours? Okay, first, i-illustrate natin yung problem. So, mag-draw tayo ng Cartesian plane para ma-identify natin yung direction. Okay? So, we have north, west, south, and east. Okay, and then, we will consider the origin as the airport. Ito yung starting point. Okay. So, hanapin natin yung location ni Airplane A. Si airplane A yung first airplane. Na ang bearing ay 66 degrees west of north. So, west of north, nandito siya sa second quadrant. So, i-draw lang natin yung 66 degrees. Approximately ito yon. So, always kapag bearing sa vertical line, yung angle. So, dito. 66 degrees. So, ito yung airplane A. And then, yun namang airplane B. Ang bearing niya is 26 degrees west of south. So, nandito siya sa third quadrant, west of south. So, draw natin yung angle. Approximately ito yun. So, ito rin yung angle niya. 26 degrees. So, this is B. So, ang question is, how far apart will the airplanes be after 2 hours? So, kailangan nating hanapin yung distance na A and B. Ito. This distance. So, how we are going to find that? So, may given tayo sa problem na speed. ba? Ang speed ni airplane A ay 325 miles per hour. Then, ang speed ni airplane B ay 300 miles per hour. So, pwede nating makuha yung distance ni A from the airport and yung distance ni B from the airport. Kasi alam natin ang formula ng distance ay speed times time. So, kasi available naman yung time, 2 hours. So, solve natin yung distance ni A. So, that is speed V, so 325 mph times 2 hours. So, that is equal to 325 times 2, 650 miles. Okay. And then, yung B naman. So, distance ni B, we have 300 mph times 2 hours. So, the answer is 600 miles. So, itong measure na to, yung this distance na to, from the airport ay 650. Then, ito naman ay 600. Yung distance B from the airport. So, paano natin makukuha itong length from A to B? Yung distance from A to B. So, makikita ninyo may given na two sides, then mahanap natin yung measure ng included angle na to. ba? Kasi merong given na dalawa, then ang straight line yan, so 180 ang total measure. So, kapag available yung two sides, and yung included angle, ang gagamitin dyan ay law of cosine. Na, so, kapag ang form ay side, angle, side, or SAS. So, paano natin makuha itong angle na to? I-represent natin siya as angle C. So, simple lang naman yan. Ang angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 66 degrees plus 26 degrees. Okay, so angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 92 degrees. And that is equal to 88 degrees. So, ayan na. Meron na tayong included angle and then yung two sides. So, pwede natin ang gamitin ang law of cosine. So, diba ang law of cosine is C squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab 
cosine C. So, gawin lang natin square root para diretso yung pag-substitute mamaya. So, we have square root of A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. So, substitution, C equals... Remember, small letter C is the length and capital letters is the angle. So, ang A natin is distance ng A, 650. 650 squared plus B, 600 squared minus 2 times 650 times 600 cosine C. Or cosine, ang angle C natin ay 88 degrees. So, simplify this using calculator. The answer is 869.07. So, ibig sabihin na the distance from A to B, from airplane A to B, after 2 hours is 869.07 miles. So, this is the answer to the given problem. Okay, second problem. Two railways intersect each other at an angle of 60 degrees. At the instant that train A on the first railway is 2 kilometers from the intersection, Train B on the second railway is 3 kilometers from the intersection. What is the distance between train A and train B at this instant? Okay, simple lang yung problem. Nag-draw lang tayo ng railway. Ayan, dalawang railways na nag-intersect. Okay, so ito yung point of intersection. So, let's say this is train A. And let's say this is train B. Okay. So, ang angle, yung nag-form ng angle, yung intersection, ng 60 degrees. Ayan. 60 degrees. Then, a distance from the intersection ng A ay 2 kilometers. Then, a distance from the intersection ni B ay 3 kilometers. So, the question is, what is the distance between train A and train B. So, we are going to find this length. Okay. Kaso, tingnan natin. I-analyze nyo yung problem. Pwede kasi na si A at B ay ganito. So, dito si A and dito naman si B. Kasi hindi specific yung problem. Diba? So, ito yung 2. 2 kilometers na naman. 3 kilometers. So, kaso, ang included angle na niya, hindi na siya 60. So, supplementary yan. So, kung ito ay 60, ito naman 120. So, ibig sabihin, dun sa problem, may two possible solution. So, pwedeng ang included angle ay 60 degrees and pwede naman ang included angle ay 120 degrees. Okay. So, dun tayo muna sa angle na 60 degrees. Okay. So, let's say angle is equal to 60 degrees. So, para makuha natin yung distance from A to B. So, you, let's say this is X. X na lang. So, ito naman. Yan. Ang length nyan ay sabihin natin Y. Okay. So, gagamitin lang natin yung law of cosine. That X squared is equal to uh, 3 squared plus 2 squared minus 2 times 3 times 6. Or rather, times 2 cosine 60 degrees. Uh, that is x squared is equal to 9 plus 4 minus 3 times 2, 6 times 2, 12. Then, ang cosine 60 is 1 half. Okay. So, 1 half yan. Cosine 60 is 1 half. So, we have x squared equals 9 plus 4 minus 12 divided 2 6, and that is uh, 9 plus 4, 13 minus 6, 7. So, therefore, ang x natin ay square root of 7 or approximately 2.65. 2.65 kilometers. So, kung ang angle ay 60 degrees, ang distance ng A to B ay 2.65 kilometers. Okay. Let's say, ang angle naman natin ay 120 degrees. Okay. 
So, simple lang yan. Ganun ang gagawin. Ah, di ba? Y naman ang missing. So, y squared is equal to 3 squared plus 2 squared minus 2 times 3 times 2. Magbabago lang naman yung angle. That is cosine 120. So, alam natin ang cosine 120 is negative 1 half. Okay? So, that is y squared equals 9 plus 4 minus, so cosine 120 is negative 1 half okay, negative 1 half yan, times 2 is negative 1, times 3 negative 3 then times 2 times negative 2 rather, positive 6, okay so we have y squared equals 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 plus 6 19, so therefore ang y natin ay square root of 19 or approximately 4.36 so, a distance ni A to B ay 4.36 kilometers kung ang magiging angle ay 120 degrees. So, kaya there are two possible cases. Kaya, ang answer natin ay pwedeng 2.65, pwede rin namang 4.36 kilometers. Okay, let's have the last problem. Three scientists are out setting up equipment to gather data on a local mountain. Person 1 is 131.5 yards away from person 2, who is 67.8 yards away from person 3. Person 1 is 72.6 yards away from the mountain. The mountain forms a 100 degree, 103 degrees angle with person 1 and person 3, while person 2 forms a 92.7 degrees angle with person 1 and person 3. Find the angle formed by person 3 with person 1 and the mountain. Okay, so let's illustrate the problem. So, let's say that this is the mountain. Okay, that's the mountain. We have person 1, person 2, and person 3. Okay, sabi sa problem, person 1 is 131.5 yards away from person 2. This means the distance between a 1 and 2 is 131.5. So, ito yan. So, this is approximately 131.5 yards. Okay. And then, sabi doon, person 2 is 67.8 yards away from person 3. Okay. So, let's say ito yan. So, ilapit natin konti. So, ito yung 3. Ang distance niyan ay 67.8 yards. And then, person 1 is 72.6 yards away from the mountain. So, ang distance ni 1 kay mountain ay 72.6 yards. Okay, and then sabi, the mountain forms a 103 degrees angle with person 1 and person 3. This is 1, this is 3, nagform daw yung, yung mountain ng angle, ito sa person 1 and person 3. So, ito yun. Ito yung 103 degrees. Then, si person 2 naman nagform ng angle na 92.7 degrees with person 1 and 3. This is person 1, this is person 3. So, ito yung, mesh, ito yung angle na tinutukoy doon. 92.7 degrees. So, ang problem dito is find the angle formed by person 3 with person 1 and the mountain. This is person 1, this is the mountain. Ano yung angle na na-form doon ng person 3? So, ito yun. Okay. So, sorry for the line. So, ito yung angle na tinutukoy. Sabihin natin ang measure niyan ay represented by angle C. Okay, so how we are going to find this ang that angle? So, ang unang gagawin lang muna natin is hanapin ang length na to. Kasi pwede natin gamitin ang law of sign kapag meron na to. Kasi meron tayong side, opposite angle, then side, yung opposite angle dito. So, kunin muna natin yung uh, side x. So, paano? Gagamitin lang natin ang law of cosine. Kasi meron tayong two sides and an included angle. Okay? So, yun yung x. So, gagamitin natin muna ay law of cosine. Okay. 
Okay, so gagamitin ko na square root. Diretso na tayo. X equals square root of, uh, let's see, 131.5. 131.5 squared plus 67.80 squared minus 2 times 131.5 times 67.8 cosine yung included angle 92.7 degrees yan so simplify lang yan using calculator the answer is approximately 150.76 150.76 76. So, the distance from 1 to 3 is 150.76 kilometers. Or yards, sorry. 150.76 yards. So, kung meron na to, pwede na natin gamitin yung law of sine. So, may mga problem na ang way ng pag-solve ay combination ng law of sine and law of cosine. So, paan natin gagamitin yung law of sine dito? So, simple lang. Meron na tayong value ng x. We have 150.76 divided by the opposite angle. Yung sign ng opposite angle, which is 103. Equals, yung side na to, 72.6 over sin c. Yung missing. Okay. So, anong gagawin lang natin dyan? Cross multiply. So, dito, diretso na tayo dito. So, 150.76 sin of C is equal to 72.6 times sin 103 degrees. Then, to solve for C, divide both sides by 150.76. So, we have sin C is equal to 72.6 sin 103 degrees divided by 150.76. Okay, and then to solve for angle C, simple, uh, simply get the inverse of sine ng value na to. So, we have C is equal to inverse of sine times 72.6 sine 103 degrees divided by 150.76. So, the answer for this using your calculator. So, to solve this using calculator, just press shift then sine function. Then, enter mo lang yung 72.6 sine 103 divided by 150.76. And the measure of this angle is equal to 27.98 degrees. Or, pwede na natin approximate siya sa 28 degrees. Okay, so therefore, the angle formed by person 3 with person 1 and the mountain is approximately equal to 28 degrees.